Mufkazut is a real thing. Google it. The element is the end result of an atomic structuring. And therefore, that atomic structuring can be altered with certain vibrational tones. But if you heat the gold, it can turn into a white powder. And that white powder is what the ancients called Mufkozut. No white for sea, man of Montana. Take this shit because a thousand times lighter. Be a number faster. Stronger. Ride the white Bronco. High dollars, tone of toe. Shop and mine. Time to gold up like my gold. Moving my energies. One to the star. Monatomic Gold is the brainchild of an Arizona farmer named David Hudson, who claimed throughout the 1980s to have rediscovered a wonder drug used by ancient Egyptian priests. You will not be recognized physically by people who knew you before you took this. There are literally hundreds of brands online that claim to contain some form of Ormus. But due to the health risks of consuming silicate aluminum, connoisseurs insist that the only way to obtain pure monatomic gold is through an underground network of alchemists which is how I found myself at a cash for gold in downtown Brooklyn, waiting to be picked up and escorted to a secret location where I learned a 5,000 year old recipe for turning gold into muskazit. Life is much better if you can control the energy or the electricity that is flowing through your body. In 2005, I was having this electrical pain in my hands and my feet, and at some point I started taking what is known as white powder gold, and this created a big change in me. At the Temple of Karnak, we can see Pharaoh Thutmosis III being served a cone-like substance that is being described as being made of gold, but strangely being referred to as white bread. Many people believe, including Sigmund Freud, that Moses was actually an Egyptian priest who was a follower of the Pharaoh Akhenaten. Moses possessed ancient technology that was closely guarded by the Egyptian priesthood, and he passed that technology to the Hebrews. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, what is it? For they did not know what it was. The word mana literally translates into what is it? Just like we see in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, there's this constant repetition of the phrase what is it? When Moses comes down from Mount Horeb, he discovers his brother has forged a golden calf. So what does he do? He burns it with fire, smashes it into a fine powder, mixes it with water, and feeds it to the Israelites. I mean, I don't want my face showing no. Yeah? Do you have to wear the mask? Yeah, yes we on? do. Stop playing. Alright? Alright, so our cook here is now going to walk us through the monatomic gold cooking process. Gold. Distilled water. Six ounces. Dead sea salt. Three tablespoons. Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> Hydrogen peroxide. Okay, and then what? You just stir. How long? Ten hours. Should I close this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, be careful, be careful. Hola chicas y chicos, mi nombre es Sam. Eh, esta es mi entrada luego de 30 días consumiendo el monatómico. Bueno, pues nada, yo todos los días por la mañana consumo un gramo. Realmente sabe horrible, para que los voy a mentir. <risa> Pero está bien. Definitivamente siento un, un incremento en mi percepción de la energía de la gente. Por ejemplo, si yo me encuentro con alguien que tiene una energía, una vibración positiva, negativa, muy... I have this ability to hyper-focus my mind creatively and spiritually into a zone where I'm able to kind of see. So you want to 
Let's see, right? Check that out. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, y'all got started, huh? What's that for? Uh, sometimes it get radioactive. I'm kind of making like the best mufkas it out right now, so. Right, you want to keep your recipe secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you afraid of? Motherfuckers with money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Powerful, you know, people on, on TV that you might know that don't want other people to know that this is what they're on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make sure they're not, we get my friends sticking their dick in something that's really uh, sacred. It seems like a pretty simple recipe, though. No, it's not. We got this from an actual person who, who studied an alchemist or what you would call Egypt. I got a lot of books on biochemistry and theoretical physics. And you believe in the absolutely, like, power yeah, of the absolutely. Drug. I've seen it. You know, I don't take it. I'm gonna abuse it, though. You know what I mean? This okay. is not for like play at all. So, no disrespect to the ancestors. None of that. <laughs> Pero, uh, no sé, a veces no es tan bueno, a veces me hace un poquito de daño, me siento cansada, agotada, no puedo hacer tantas cosas por mí misma. Y nada, me siento también como sobrecogida, es la palabra, sobrecogida por, por la tristeza del mundo, por, por el miedo. All right, so 10 hours of stirring later, and now we have the final product, Monatomic Gold, and it's now a powdery white substance. Can you tell us how it's meant to be ingested? You, know, you add a little bit of water uh -huh. and make sure the uh, consistency is, is thick enough and uh, just a little, very little bit on the spoon and just put it in your mouth. Uh, would you mind showing it to the camera, actually? You can see what it looks like. Here you go, Grandma. Just like at night, you give up this body, you take your subtle body and you go to somewhere. You're sleeping at, in your room, but you are working in a different place. Don't you do that? That subtle body takes you from this body to the umba of another mother by nature's direction. You are a god that pretends not to be a god. You are the god that creates all of the experience that you explore or that you have. I did a uh, radionic analysis on the product itself and it didn't come up well. So it, it seemed to me somebody was putting a form of spiritual or psycho-spiritual crack into the uh, into the populace because we were ascending. Humanity is taking its next quantum leap by itself. And those who control that don't like that. They don't like the cattle getting out of the corral. They don't like the stampeding. So I just got back to 314 and my sweet mates are bugging the fuck out. What the no. fuck? Carrie? You, you good, Carrie? No. What is no. going on? What, what is this? <laughs> Say that again. No one to die. Who's gonna die? No one has to die. No one is. No one has to die. Swassy, swassy, swassy. Boy, boy, boy. Swassy, swassy. 